Welcome! In this guide, we will be building a fully functional Telegram bot using the N8N automation platform. We'll connect it to an AI model and give it a persistent memory. Let's begin. We'll choose on message so that the workflow activates every time a user sends a message to our bot. Next, we need to authenticate our bot. Under credential, let's select create new. This requires an access token from Telegram. To get this, we'll use a special utility bot on Telegram called Botfather. Inside Telegram, search for Botfather and start a chat. Type the command slash newbot. First, provide a display name for your bot. Then give it a unique username, which must end with the word bot. Paste the token into the access token field and save the credential. We will use the Google Gemini chat model. Just like with Telegram, this requires a credential. Create a new one. Enter your Google AI API key and save. The connection test confirms it's working. To make our bot truly smart, it needs to remember past conversations. We'll achieve this using a database. Let's go to Supabase to create a free Postgres database. In the Supabase dashboard, start a new project, give it a name, generate a secure database password, and choose your preferred region. Supabase will now provision the project. This process takes a moment. Once it's complete, we'll have access to our database connection details. Now that it's ready, navigate to the project's database settings and click Connect. Supabase provides several connection strings. For compatibility with N8N's memory node, we need the details from the transaction pooler. We'll create a new credential, pasting in the host, database name, the user string from Supabase, and the password you created for the project. A successful test confirms our bot now has a working memory We can also enhance our AI agent with tools. Let's add the calculator tool, which allows the AI to perform mathematical calculations. Finally, we need to send the AI's response back to the user. Add one more telegram node, this time selecting the send a text message action. Now, let's try to execute the workflow. We'll see it's waiting for an event. If we send a message now, we'll get an error in the storage. The reason is no ED chat specified to store conversions. We've built the components, but we haven't defined the storage what conversation it needs to store under which ID. Now, let's try to execute again the workflow. We'll see it's waiting for an event. If we send a message now, we'll get an error in the AI agent node. The reason is no prompt specified. We've built the components, but we haven't told the AI what text it needs to process. Let's fix that. 
Open the AI Agent node. For the Source for Prompt, we'll change it from Connected Chat Trigger node to Define Below. In the Prompt field, we'll use an expression to pull the text from our initial Telegram trigger. Now the user's message is correctly routed to the AI. Next, configure the final Send a Text Message node. We need to specify the chat ID to reply to. We'll use an expression to get this from the trigger data. For the message text, we'll use another expression to get the output from the AI Agent node. Now, let's save the workflow and, importantly, click the toggle to activate it. The workflow is now live and listening. Let's go to Telegram and send a test message. As you can see, the bot receives the message, processes it through the AI, and sends back a coherent response. It's working perfectly. For a more polished experience, we can remove the scent automatically with N8 in text. In the Send a Text Message node, click Add Field and search for Append N8N Attribution. By default, this is on. Simply toggle it off and save the workflow. Let's clear the chat and test one last time. We send a message and the bot replies cleanly without the attribution. We can now ask it a follow-up question, and because of our Supabase memory, it understands the context. The entire system is now complete. Thank you for following along. You have now successfully built an intelligent Telegram bot with persistent memory using N8N. If this guide was helpful, please like the video and subscribe for more tutorials.